Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the technical trader. Uh, it's Tuesday night, August the 18th, and this is the charts of the day. Well, we had some technical problems earlier. Hopefully, we've got this ironed out, and I'll uh, go ahead and give you my review on the charts of the day, which I posted earlier. Starting off with BLDR, Builders First Source, which had exploded in April on a merger with one of their competitors, then moved sideways and consolidated, recently popped. You can see that move up to new highs, but then pulled back and formed a nice little bull coil. When it popped out today, I put a swing on it. I believe the stock is going to head through the highs at 15 and a half and up towards first 18 and then 20 potentially. Those are my targets. 17 and a half and 20, I believe. <clears throat> the, uh, the current support is around 1390. We need that 1345, where the 50-day moving average is. CLLL, I continue to talk about this stock because of the fabulous surge, breakaway gap through three moving averages, and then a move through resistance. Eight days in a row, the stock is up, and I Hesitate to recommend it because I don't like chasing stocks. I would love to see a pullback set up for us back towards eight and a half, three quarters, something like that. But we'll see. It very well may continue to move right up to my target around 10, <clears throat> 10 and a half, three quarters. CCRN, um, some of the people in our, some of our co traders um, basically have been uh, giving me a heads up on uh, the stock of late. And you can see that the stock, not only after forming a multi month bull coil here, broke out and retested the 50, but exploded off of that level, and then set up a little flag. By this explosive move, on good buy-in, the stock went through a du key double top, long-term resistance, and now you can see the two-day pullback probably was a buying opportunity. I missed out on that one. But the surge here has got me think interested in maybe getting this stock for a run to the 17, 17, the quarter level. Could be a swing trade, maybe as high as 20 eventually on a secondary target. Looking good. I like the OBV, and I like the buy-in. Intelliquent with a monster day, in my opinion. I wish it closed better, but it was still up 356 or 20% on 2 million shares, 2.1 million. And we haven't seen that kind of volume in a long time since January of, of last year. So with the <clears throat> rising trend line that I have here, lateral price resistance to 25, that's your short-term target. Secondary target is around 28. Now, iTech, as you know, is a stock we've ex traded fantastically here in that range. And then it came down and coiled. It broke out, and it's been moving for the last five days. Not with a lot, a lot of um, energy or volume, but the key is for me that it's not getting too far ahead of itself. And if you go back to a 15-minute chart on iTech, you'll see the pattern that I'm looking at. It's a one, two, three, and four. Can we get a fifth wave? Well, it sure looks like the possibilities are there for this stock to take a move up towards 18, maybe 19 and a half. And that's my short-term target. Keep an eye on iTech. Up next is LEN, that's Lenar, one of the bigger home builders. Take a look at this chart <clears throat> in the last year or so. Really, really a nice parallel channel. Long-term pattern over the last five years shows a monstrous move. And it's taken us from near bankruptcy levels when it was three bucks a share, all the way up to 55. And with the pattern the way it is now, I could see short-term 60. And that's my short-term target. Now beyond that, if it continues to mojo, we could see a move that takes it substantially higher. Um, and when you look at the all-time highs, up around maybe mid, low to mid-70s, that could be a potential target for it, somewhere up there. <clears throat> and Neuroderm, um, NDRM, after the explosive move in December last year, and then the pullback, one, two, three, four, five-wave type move that held the moving. I noticed a 50-day held here. Ran up, consolidated for months. Finally breaking out here, and much like in the case of the builder's first source, this one broke out above key resistance and then consolidated. <clears throat> so did and Neuroderm, set up a flag, exploded, pulled back and tested, and ran up again. Didn't hold very well today. After dropping back from 25.43 and new post-IPO all-time high, it settled back to 23.66, only up 63 cents. So not the best close, but important follow-through to new all-time highs today. Wouldn't shock me. If based on what I'm seeing here, and this angle of ascent, that the stock eventually makes it up towards about 29. Uh, OMER with the, was a monster of the midway today. Exploded, as you can see, through three moving averages, a trend line, at several layers of resistance, and actually made a, a new multi-year high, if not all-time. Let's double-check that. It is a new all-time high. And with the positive drug news we had today, 32 point. 5 million shares traded. This kind of breakaway gap and thrust of 72% <clears throat> on 32 million shares isn't often seen um, without some follow-through. So 
What I'm going to be looking for is the stock to con consolidate and maybe edge higher, getting into the low to mid 30s, eventually a $40 stock, I believe. <clears throat> Major breakout in ROST as well. Looking at the weekly chart, it's been in a monstrous move since 08, 09 when it was five bucks. It's now 10 fold, 11 fold. And but recently, after running up in March to the 54 and a half range, and then doing it again and backing off there, it blew through today with a breakaway gap. I think we're going to see the stock extend the move and probably into the $60 range short term. RPD, well, Rapid7 ran up for the last five days after the IPO brought it back down um, post IPO. The breakout occurred yesterday. The follow through is today. There is resistance up in that 26.7 zone where the post IPO high took place. But I do believe that this is with the stronger report that they had last night and the stock reaching up. As you can see, post uh, evening got all the way up to 25.50. At this point, though, um, I'm going to draw a line across that area, which is right about there. And that's also at this spike high, 25.49. So you can see that there's resistance right there. Watch this one tomorrow because if it gets to 25 and a half, we can see 26 or 27 on this one. And lastly from that is Sucampo, one of our swing trades, which did well in the morning, didn't close well. I don't like when a stock breaks out and pulls back, but sometimes they do that retest and go. Targeting 32, uh, first 29.30 and then 31.32, something like that. You can see the beautiful ch channel here, and the top of that channel does measure upwards of 33 even. That's it for tonight, everybody. Have a good evening, and I'll talk to you in the trading room tomorrow. Bye-bye.